People? People? This is how it's done. Welcome fellow KISS fans, welcome to It's All For You Demon, celebrating the fun of being a KISS fan. Dynasty is what we're talking about tonight, so I certainly think that's fun. And we're going to talk about the new release, 45th Anniversary, on red marble vinyl. Now, when this first came out, I didn't jump on it, which was very strange for me. You figure the year of Dynasty, I would have been all over this. Picture disc, of course, sold out within minutes. Kiss Online, this has got to stop. Just print more, lessen the demand of the eBay sellers. They're not going to buy up every single copy. Jane and John Doe will be able to purchase one. And you, not the resellers, you will make more money. Thank you. Rant over. Let's get back to this beautiful edition of Dynasty. Again, I didn't jump on it. I sat on it. Bought the Dynasty Mirror, still sat on it. Weeks went by, and then I'm finally like, you know what? When it comes to be Christmas time, I'm going to kick myself if I don't have a red Dynasty vinyl. Christmas is the ultimate Dynasty season. Then I did notice that the cover was printed in silver ink, and the poster was a foil poster for the first time ever. So I finally did jump on it. Glad I did, because the next day, it was sold out. Now, if you have ever seen any of my previous anniversary edition purchases, you know I always take the hype sticker off the wrap, and I stick it right to the album. I like to have fun with my toys. I'm not a reseller, so this is just fun to me to put these hype stickers actually on the album cover. This release, I did not. I actually sliced it with the razor blade and kept the shrink wrap on it that way i could still have the hype sticker on the cover but not mess with this cover because this cover is absolutely beautiful and i did not want my grimy fingers fingerprinting up how beautiful this cover is and it's kind of odd too i'm also in like the year of double platinum and the mylar look and to get a dynasty with a mylar look happiness it's not a big enough word for how i feel about this release now just look how amazingly cool this cover is when we go by paul's eye here and we see look at that silver ink on his eyelid ace literally shines in the light peter's nose there and Jean again on the eyelids. You just get that beautiful freaking silver. Not to mention the back. Just absolutely gorgeous. They hit the ball out of the park with this thing. Now the vinyl itself comes in the classic roller rink dynasty logo that we all know and love. And then, may I say, a very pretty vinyl. Red marble with some black marbling in there not bad at all not completely translucent but fairly and then the one item that everyone's complaining about is the poster it's a foil poster everyone's like i can't believe it's folded which i get and i do wish they would have shipped it in a separate tube but then, if you think about it, you have extra shipping costs and the chance that your album's gonna arrive and your poster's not. Or your poster arrives and your album doesn't. Or both arrive damaged. You know what? The original poster was a folded up poster inside the album. Why not just keep with that design? I was skeptical at first. I kept thinking, please roll the foil poster. I saw it was folded, whatever. Opened it up, and I don't give a crap if it's folded or not. 
This thing is going on the wall. Just, just look at how beautiful this is. Look at that. I mean, granted it's folded. Who cares at this point? It is like metallic mirror mylar silver. And that, to me, look at that. Ace's coolest pose ever on a poster. And then just that mirror reflection around it. I'm sold. I say 10 out of 10. Ball hit out of the park on this one. I'm a Dynasty fan. I collect Dynasty. I freaking love this thing. We're kind of going in reverse order tonight because now we're going to wax a little nostalgia on why I collect Dynasty. A. Dynasty is my favorite record. B. One day John 5 was on a foreign pressing tangent on his Knights and Satan Service Instagram page and I thought man that would be so much fun because I love foreign pressings. They're so much fun to collect. I have Revolver de Amor, Desen Mascarado, and Criaturas de la Noche. I also have one more we're going to talk about in just one second. So, so I'm sitting there reading Instagram and I'm plotting out my the rest of my collecting life thinking I would like to have foreign versions of every album. I don't have the means nor the time to amass that collection. I'm thinking even if I can somehow manage to momentarily... <laughs> but we do like to stay positive here in the Wax Night House, so it can be done. But what could be done even better would just be focusing on one album. Thus, I only collect Dynasty from here on out. Honestly, I probably will not buy any more Kiss Online anniversary editions. 70s wise, I definitely won't. Unless it's super, super cool. Probably gonna pass on all of them. I will, however, purchase an Asylum, Crazy Nights, Hot in the Shade, and Smashes if they do cool covers for those releases. Otherwise, I'm out. Dynasty is the only record I'm collecting from here on out. And so, that is how it's gone. US version in the shrink wrap. It's opened, but it still has the shrink wrap. Side note, I don't go in for pressings, plants, weird barcodes. Don't give a crap about that. 79 US pressing in the shrink wrap. Opened, but in the shrink wrap. 79 version, no shrink wrap. Germany, black vinyl, red band, but no hype. Germany, red translucent vinyl, red band with hype. Ecuador, Casablanca hype, stereo compatible. Japan, red obi with the booklet. Japan, yellow obi with the booklet. The foreign pressing I said we were going to talk about in just a minute. Dynastia, Argentina. Australia contains the poster hype at the bottom. It also says featuring I Was Made For Loving You at the top. El Salvador, pretty beat up copy. You gotta love foreign pressings that are beat up. Germany, bootleg, I believe. Red band, no hype, orange vinyl. And then a pretty cool ass version of the poster. The 40th anniversary edition from Kiss Online, green vinyl, hence I wanted the red vinyl. Christmas time, gonna rock out the green and red vinyl Christmas time is the season of Dynasty. I love this version. Can't believe this was five years ago. Totally remember buying this. But that is super fun. And then we have what we are talking about today, 45th anniversary red vinyl. Now my all time favorite versions of Dynasty that I own. El Salvador, I just love the beat up cover. The humidity just does wonders to these records. Smells like an old Playboy. The back, the titles are in a different color font. And this one even has someone's name on the back there written. Carlos Augusta Inquio Saguier. Carlos, I don't know where you are in this world right now, but I have your El Salvador pressing of Dynasty and I love it. Dynastia, one of my favorite foreign pressings because I love when the name is actually in the foreign language. So much fun, I've always said this. Things that you don't think about when you're in high school that mean the world to you 
as an adult. And lastly, I'm not afraid to admit it, my other favorite was the 40th anniversary in green vinyl. That green is just so sweet. I bought this and the hot in the shade blue around the same time and I kind of fell in love with colored vinyl and went down a colored vinyl rabbit hole. But this is also one of my favorites. So the big question is now, with the 45th anniversary edition out, which one of all of these is going to be my number one favorite version? And I'll be honest, it's kind of hard. I love the green 40th anniversary. Colored vinyl means a lot to me, so kind of outweighs the El Salvador. I love foreign pressing titles, but the green vinyl again outweighs even the foreign pressing title. I like the green vinyl better than the red vinyl, but I'm gonna have to say I love the 45th anniversary pressing because I love that cover and that poster sells me like nobody's business. This is the complete package to me and probably my favorite pressing of Dynasty. I love the green vinyl, but at least I have a red to go along with it. Christmas is set in the Wax Night House and the year of Dynasty continues into 2024. Thank you for hanging with us tonight and waxing a little rock and roll nostalgia dynasty style with us here in the Wax Night House. Be good to your babies. Spay, neuter, microchip. Take care. Be safe. Celebrate dynasty. Always. This Christmas, you got the perfect records to do it. Take care. Be safe. We will talk to you soon. You are the cutest little bugger in the world. And so are you, my baby girl. I thank you.